My name is Neve Reinch, and I am going to be talking to you about second generation immigrants. I am a second generation immigrant. My mother came from the US to Germany, where I was born and raised. I firmly believe that having an immigrant parent and being a second generation immigrant can not only change your lives, but the lives of people around you as well. However, this can only be done in a society that is not only open and accepting towards all, but also makes them feel like they are actually wanted. In this photo, you can see my family and me when we were younger. While we were happy in Germany, and we still are, I often felt like my mother was treated differently because she was an immigrant. She would call up real estate agents and try and rent an apartment, and they would hear 10 seconds of her broken German, and they would immediately say, sorry, the apartment has already been reserved. And then my father would call only minutes later in his perfect German, and they would immediately make an appointment. I chose this topic not only because of this, but also because I think that having an immigrant background and being a second generation immigrant is mutually beneficial to all. But before I continue, I would like to explain some terminology to you guys first. What is a second generation immigrant? Well, as you may have guessed, a second generation immigrant is the child of one or more immigrants and who was born and raised in the country immigrated to. My mother was the direct immigrant and she came to Germany where I was born and raised. This makes me a second generation immigrant. A first generation immigrant is a direct immigrant like my mother and a third generation immigrant is where one or more grandparents is a direct immigrant. Now over the years, more newer terms have been coined such as a one and a half generation immigrant where a person immigrated to another country as a young toddler child. So many of us in Germany are immigrants. In 2018, multiple studies were taken to show our immigrant statistics here in Germany. And one out of every four Germans was shown to be a first or second generation immigrant. That means 20.8 million of us or more were, had migrant backgrounds or were immigrants. As you can see in this graph, the people with migrant backgrounds are increasing rapidly, while the people without migrant backgrounds are slowly decreasing. And the trend is only growing. In the last five years, we have seen the largest surge of immigrants since World War II. In light of this, Germany needs to best consider how to help these people. And thus, the German Federal Office for Migration and Refugees, also known as BAMF, came up with a few integration indicators. These include an increase of tolerated foreigners from other countries, an increase in the number of voters with migrant backgrounds, a decrease in the people who finish school without school finishing qualifications, a decrease in the unemployment rate, and also a decrease in the homelessness rate. There are so many advantages to being a second generation immigrant. Some include that we may have more cultures to celebrate, both our parents and so on. We may have more festivals, holidays, and traditions, like the American tradition of carving Halloween pumpkins. And most importantly, we may have more tolerance and acceptance towards other people because we know what it's like to be in their shoes. But how does having an immigrant parent and being a second generation immigrant affect my life and my future? Well, I am bilingual, which means that I will probably um, obtain more job opportunities and study opportunities abroad. I have two passports, which helps with this as well. And having two passports, it means that I can claim diplomatic assistance in the US and in any EU member state if I'm ever in trouble. I am also very fortunate to go to the European School Rhine Mine as this helps me feel like I fit in more because I am surrounded by generation immigrants, both first, second, and third, daily, which helps me not only fit in more, but also helps me gain knowledge, acceptance, and tolerance towards other people and their cultures. Despite the numerous advantages, there are also some disadvantages. Many immigrants feel like they don't truly fit in anywhere. 
they are also facing discriminations on how they dress, their accents, their language, their ethnicity, their nationality, their religions, and so many more factors. But is discrimination actually rising in Germany? Well, in 2017, the AfD, the Alternative für Deutschland, a political party based off of an anti-immigrant and anti-refugee platform, won 12.6% of the votes, 94 seats in the German parliament, a staggering increase from the last election. Not only in politics have we seen that xenophobia and racism may be on the rise here in Germany, also catastrophic events have been happening, such as the shooting in Hanau just this year in February, 30 minutes away from here, where we witnessed a horrific shooting of two Turkish-owned bars. The shooter killed 11 people, including German civilians who are first and second generation immigrants and foreigners. Not only in Germany have we seen events such as this happen either. In the US, the Black Lives Matter movement only brought to light how systemic racism and xenophobia are and how important it is and vital that we implement change and reform not only in the US or in Germany, but globally, and that we do this immediately. Even in the absence of xenophobia and racism, many immigrants still feel different. When I go to the US, I say, oh, I'm German, to explain why I don't know the newest hit songs or have the newest clothes that are trending. And when I come back to Germany, I say, oh, I'm American, to explain my accent and my mannerisms in general. Even my German family members, some of them, criticize my German and say that I'm too American. And even my Irish name, spelled N-I-A-M-H, pronounced Neve, when mispronounced, can make me feel not only strange, but estranged from others in a negative way. However, I am fortunate enough to have seen second generation immigrants in other places. Before coronavirus, my sister and I taught refugees English at the local refugee center. And this was truly inspiring because it was amazing to see how determined they were to become fluent in German when they were already fluent in four or five languages, most of them. And it was also incredible to see how hardworking they were at their German and how important and joyful it was for them to be given the chance at having a permanent home here in Germany. So when the borders open up again and the restrictions are lifted, I truly hope with all of my heart that we can not only integrate more refugees and more immigrants into our society, but that we can make them feel like they are truly wanted here. Thank you for listening.